Fast trade execution is obviously important for a lot of traders out there. You want to be able to get in and out of your trades as fast as possible, but what's the best way to do that within Weeble? That is exactly what we're going to be going over in today's video, covering one of those tools that make the entire process so much quicker. Now, within Weeble, the tool that we'll be discussing is actually called the Price Ladder, but you may also know it as the DOM or the Depth of Market. For those of you out there who may have heard of this for the first time today, have never seen it before, this is what it looks like. Now, I believe it actually comes as a default widget for those of you who log in here for the very first time, but if you don't have it, it is very simple to add. One of the ways to add it is by simply coming over here to the three little lines in the upper right hand corner of any of the widgets. We'll then look in that drop down menu and find the button marked add a widget and then go down to the very bottom and select all widgets. The menu that pops up will actually allow us to see all the widgets or tools available to us within Weeble over here on the left hand side and the one we want to add is going to be the pricing ladder and that can be found by looking in the trade section down here towards the bottom. So now that we found it, in order to actually add it, we will simply come over here to the right and hit the little plus icon next to the pricing ladder. Now that we can see the pricing ladder displayed over here on the left hand side, let me go ahead and get rid of this little widgets menu by coming up here and Xing out of it. And now we can actually drag and drop that pricing ladder wherever we want it. So you can see here I clicked and I'm holding down on it. And let's say I wanted to drag it over here to my trade section. So I'm going to go ahead and hover my mouse over it and just go ahead and let go. I could also pull it back out of there by simply clicking on the word ladder here and basically just dragging it out of that section and putting it wherever I wanted it. Now in my case I already do have a pricing ladder on my screen so let's just go ahead and delete this one. And I think you guys get the general idea, adding it to your platform won't be too tricky. Now in terms of what that pricing ladder is actually telling us, let's begin by looking at the buttons over here at the very top of our ladder. So looking here, you'll notice that, that includes the quantity box. So basically the number of shares or contracts that we're going to be trading anytime we click on one of the buttons down below. To the right of that, we can see the order type button, which will basically just flip us back and forth between a limit order or a stop order, depending on the price that we choose. But I'll go a little bit more in depth on that a little bit later. And then finally, looking over here to the right, we can also see an order confirmation box, which if we were to check mark that, it means we want to get an order confirmation. We don't want our orders to get submitted instantly. Now, if I were to leave it unchecked like it is right now, it means anytime I click on a button down below, we want our orders to go in instantly, no questions asked. So coming back over here and looking from left to right, you can see I currently have one share selected, which just means I want to trade one share at a time. Moving to the right, you can also see my order type button is marked to auto, meaning that it's going to choose my order type for me automatically, depending on the price that I select. And for right now, I don't want my orders to go in instantly. So the last thing I'm going to do is come over here and check mark the order confirmation box. But now that we actually have the top button set up the way that we want them, let's go ahead and take a look down below at the actual pricing ladder. Looking down here, you can actually see a list of prices for the stock down the center and the actual current price of the stock is right here highlighted in gray. So the current price of SoFi right now is $6.70. Now, if we were to come over here and take a look at this thing from left to right, we can actually first start by seeing the actual number of shares that have been traded at these prices today. So in this case, you can actually see there have been 642,000 shares traded at 670 today. You can see 2 million shares have been traded at 671, 1.5 million at 672, and so on. Taking a look just to the right of that, we can then see a green and red column, which are actually telling us the bid size and asking size. So that's where we can actually see all of the open orders currently resting to buy or sell this stock right now. This is actually also known as level two data. And for Weeble, it does actually cost a couple of dollars a month to get access to this, but it could be worth it to you. The only thing that's really important to remember with this is that the bid size column is going to be all of the open buy orders to actually buy this stock, whereas the asking size column or the red column is going to be all of the open orders to sell this stock. So going through an example for just a second, if we were to come down here to the price of 668, we can actually see there are open orders resting out there to buy 35,214 shares of SoFi at that price. Coming over to the right to the ask column, we can actually see there are open orders to sell 27,000, now 25,785 shares at 678. 
But you'll notice this is changing all the time. It's going to be constantly changing as new opening or closing trades come out there to the marketplace. And that could be opening trades to buy the stock, opening trades to short the stock, or trades to cover the position. A lot of traders out there will actually try and use this type of data to find stacked orders and levels of support and resistance to base their trades off of. But I'm going to go ahead and save level 2 for a later video and instead we'll just focus on the pricing ladder itself for today. Now placing an order using this pricing ladder is actually pretty easy. We'll simply need to put our mouse to the left or right of the price that we want to buy or sell at. So as an example, let's actually say I wanted to buy SoFi stock if it ever dropped down to, let's say, 665 a share. So you can see here what I did is put my mouse just on the current price, 665, and I'm going to move my mouse to the left hand side. And if I were to click there, I'm saying I want to buy one share at 665. Now you'll notice that as soon as I clicked on it, a little order confirmation box appeared over here on the left hand side just to confirm that we did in fact want to buy one share at 665. Now, if that was the case, and I did actually want to submit this order, we'll simply come down here and hit buy. Now that the order has been placed, we can actually see it up here on the chart itself as this little green ticket here. And I could actually see it by coming down to the active trader and seeing it right here as well. Now, if I decided to cancel that order or if I wanted to adjust it in some way, I could do it a few different ways. But the first is by coming up here to the chart and actually clicking and holding down on the order ticket and dragging it to the new price I want to adjust it to. So in this case, you can see I'm dragging it down to 605. And if I were to let go of my mouse right now, you'll actually see another order ticket comes up just to confirm that I do in fact want to adjust this order down to 605. And since I do, I'm going to come down here and hit buy. So now the order has been adjusted. And let's say I wanted to just outright cancel it. I'll just come over here and hit the X button. Then just come up here and hit OK to confirm that I do in fact want to cancel it. And there we go. Now I could also do the exact same thing on the sell side if I wanted to short a position on SoFi and I could do that by coming over here to the pricing ladder, finding the price I wanted to sell at, so in this case 683, and just moving my mouse to the right hand side. And right there you can see if I were to click here it says I'm going to put in a limit order to sell one share at 683. Now you guys may have also noticed that depending on the price that I put my mouse next to, it either builds out a limit order or a stop order. So right now when I'm selling the position and I'm above the current price, it defaults to a limit order. However, if I were to move my mouse down below the current price, you'll actually see it flips over to a stop order. Now on the buy side of things, it is the exact opposite. So if I came over here to the left hand side or the bid size column, when I'm below the current price, it defaults to a limit order. If I were to move my mouse up above the current price, it defaults to a stop order. So again, it's kind of using the order that makes the most sense depending on the price that I select. Now the reason it's doing that is because of the button up here at the top, which currently is marked to auto. If I were to click on that and instead flip it over to limit order only, you'll notice that no matter where I put my mouse, whether it be above or below the current price, it stays as a limit order. Now for me personally, I think it makes more sense to leave it set to auto to just auto differentiate the order type based on the type that makes the most sense. So we'll go ahead and leave it set to auto. Now finally, the very last thing I'll mention is that if you guys wanted to place these trades even quicker, we could come up here and deselect the order confirmation box. Now you'll notice that as soon as I click on it, it does give me a little pop up window just to confirm that I am aware of the risk because remember from now on, if I were to click on any of these buttons, my orders are going to go out there instantly. No more order confirmations. So in this case, to see what it's going to look like, let's come up here and hit OK. And now let's say I wanted to buy another share of SoFi, but only if it dropped down to 654. So putting my mouse just to the left of 654 and clicking in that box. You'll now see that that order goes out there instantly and we can actually see it up here on the chart as well as down here below in the active trader. But that's really everything there is to know about the price ladder. Nothing too crazy, but a great way to place your trades very, very quickly. Hopefully after all that, you do feel more comfortable with the tool itself and how it can be used. Now, if you do still have questions or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you were looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well. So go ahead and check it out. But that's it for now, everyone. Have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.